Hi, my name is B. I'm a driving instructor. This video is part of the driving theory test series. In each video, there will be 10 practice questions. Choose randomly from 14 topics. So, when you're ready, let's get started. You're in the line of traffic. What action should you take if the driver behind is following very closely? Signal left and wave the driver behind to come past. Ignore the driver behind and continue to travel within the speed limit. Slow down, gradually increasing the gap between you and the vehicle in front. Move over to a position just left of the center line of the road. Let's have a look at these questions. So you have a driver behind, drive very close to your car. The Option A that they give it to you is signal left and wave the driver behind to come past. Um, it's not really your option to let people overtake or do something. It's their own choice. So it's not really safe at all if you allow people to overtake regardless of your signal left or what. So A is not the answer. Next one is ignore the driver behind and continue to travel within the speed limit. They said to you here, you drive within the speed limit is look like very positive here, but ignore the driver behind. It's not nice. The driver behind drive really close to you. You shouldn't do something to save yourself, to save the car behind, to save the car in front of you. So you have to do something. The question is what you should do. The third one, slow the car down, gradually increase the gap between you and the vehicle in the front. So this is the answer. This is the safest thing to do when you have this kind of situation. You have to slow the car down. You need to increase the gap between your car and the car in the front. The reason is, if you have very really long gap between your car and the car in the front, if the car in the front one, you have to stop suddenly so you have a lot of time to react. So you don't need to do emergency stop like them. So because of that, the last car can be safe as well. The last option they give it to you is move over to the position just left of the center line. So it means you drive in the middle of the road or close to the middle of the road. So that's not a safe driving position at all. So that's not an option as well. What part of the car does the law require you to keep in good condition? The D box, the door locks, the seat belts, the transmission. For these questions, actually, all of these, you need to keep them in good condition. But by law, you need to keep the seat belt in good condition. Where would you find these flashing red light signals? Level crossings. Motorway exits, zebra crossings, pelican crossings. So for the question three, it's about the traffic sign. You need to know them all. It's not because of your theory test. It's also needed with your practical test and in the future after you pass your test as well. So for this sign here, it means level crossing. So it means you're approaching the level crossing. What do these motorway signs mean? They are countdown markers to the next exit. They are countdown markers to a bridge. They warn of a police control ahead. They are distance markers to the next telephone. The question four is also about the signs. So these signs mean there are countdown markers to the next exit. Each line is represent 100 yard. So it means when you drive along the road, you will see the three countdown marker first. So it means you are 300 yards away from the exit. Later, you will see the two countdown markers. So it means you are 200 away from the exit, 100 yards away from the exit. And then that's it, you reach the exit. Okay, so the blue color is about motorway. Where would you see this sign? In the window of a car taking children to school. At playground areas. On the rear of a school bus or coach. At the side of the road. Next one is also about the sign here. 
this side you will see it on the rear of the school bus or coach so the answer will be C so let's have a look at the answer that they will give it to you the first one is said in the window of a car taking children to school they said car any car this sign is not for any car to use it's not like parents send children to school and they have this sign at the rear window not like that so make sure that you read the answer properly why should you slow down as you approach this hazard because of animals crossing because of approaching traffic because of the level crossing because it's hard to see to the right this is also about the sign there's so many signs on this picture here the first one that you will see the triangle with the barrier here the below they have a rectangle sign we have a light on which you saw the questions earlier that is about a level crossing you also have a three countdown marker this one is in red color so all of these signs here is showing you that you're near the level crossing you need to be careful about the train what may help to deter a thief from stealing your car fitting reflective glass windows always keeping the headlights on always keeping the interior light on etching the registration number on the windows so the next question said what you may help to deter a thief from stealing your car the answer is the etching the registration number on the windows in this way the thief probably have a difficulty to sell them or do something with your car that's why they're trying to avoid the car that have a registration number on the window um, the first one fitting reflective glass window probably not really help is maybe look very shiny and then the thief maybe they more interesting on it I don't know the second one is said keep the headlights on it will drain the battery it will not help anything the choice C said keep the interior lights on I think it's more easy to see what is in your car it's maybe tempted for the people to have a look at it so that's not a good idea the answer will be the last one you're driving in heavy traffic on a wet road which lights should you use if there's a lot of surface spray rear fog lights if visibility is more than 100 meters 328 feet side lights only main beam headlights dipped headlights i would like you to read the question properly also read the answer carefully they ask you about which lights that you should use if there's a lot of surface spray you're driving on the wet road the first option said you need to put your rear fog lights on if the visibility more than 100 meter so be careful with the word more than when the visibility actually less than 100 meters you can use a fog light so this one more than more than you shouldn't use fog light how about side light side light is very small tiny so it's not really a good idea main beam headlight is full beam so full beam is very bright and really dazzle dazzle the car at front dazzle the oncoming car the last one is dip headlight which is the answer here it doesn't matter wet road heavy rain if the visibility is more than 100 meter the dip headlight will work just fine in that situation what type of vehicle uses an amber flashing beacon on a dual carriageway an ambulance a tractor a fire engine a doctor on call so this question now they're looking for the vehicle that have an amber flashing beacon on the top so let's see all the choices that they have which one is moving very slow the first one is an ambulance we know that ambulances go very fast so not ambulance the second one is a tractor which is an answer 
third fire engine also can go very fast as well. A doctor on call is go very fast because you're on duty, you have to be hurry. So the answer will be a tractor. What does this arm signal mean? The driver intends to turn right. The driver intends to turn left. The driver wishes to overtake. The driver is slowing down. The last question in this video asks you about arm signal. So from this picture, you can see that the driver put the arm out, palm forward, and then rotate the arm into the anti-clockwise position. So this means the driver intends to turn left. So if the driver intends to turn right, the signal will be the same as the cyclist. So put the arm out, palm forward, and keep it straight. Don't move. There is no arm signal for overtake, so it's definitely not the option C. The last one, the driver is slowing down. If the driver would like to slow down, put the arm out, palm down, and move the arm up and down motion. This signal means the driver would like to slow the car down. And that's all for now. I hope this video will help you to understand your driving theory test. I will upload the video like this two to three times a week. So if you like this video and want more of this, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. Bye.